Every war on earth has its own impact which will bring destructions pain and sorrows But this creature which will have to fight against the foreign particle which has entered leads into one of the finest gem on earth called pearl No other gem has captivated our fascination and admiration like the pearl. Diamonds may be forever, but pearls have been recognized as prized jewels for centuries longer than any cut stone. Almost all other gemstones are formed by mineral deposits that must be mined, cut and polished to reveal their sparkling beauty. Pearl has a history more fascinating and more regal than any other gem. Pearls from India are known from time immemorial. admired all over the world as the finest oriental pearls they were in high demand all over the world however natural pearl resources in india as in other parts of the world have depleted and pearl fishery was stopped in india about 4 decades ago there is a huge gap between production and demand and the only option left was culture of pearls pearl is one of the most important gems in the indian culture as it constitutes one of the navratnas So pearl has been in the Indian jewelry industry for a very long time. We're in Hyderabad, being the one of the biggest pearl hub for the international market since the 17th century. So there are two kinds of kinds of pearls. That is fresh water and salt water. Where in fresh waters are the ones which are popular in India. Kokichi Miki of Japan and his colleagues made pearl by injecting foreign body into the shell in 1890, but kept it secret for long. but this wonderful farming and technique had to reveal to the world and later it was adopted every corner of the world to produce these beautiful gem in a conversation with professor b v krishnamurthy assistant professor main research center gk vk bangalore i came to know that the pearl cultivation can be done in your backyard by having minimum requirements such as land water and with few live mussels ಈಗ ಸೀನಿಯರು ಮುತ್ತು ಕೃಷಿಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ವಿಸ್ತಾರವಾದಂಥ ಜಾಗ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಅತಿಯಾದ ನೀರಿನ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ರೈತರಿಗೆ ಇರುವಂಥ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಂದರೆ ಅರ್ಧ ಗುಂಟೆ ಜಾಗನೇ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಕೆಲವು ಸಾವಿರ ಲೀಟರ್ ನೀರು ಇದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದನ್ನು ಇದು ಸಾಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ those who have agricultural lands they can mode grow any food grains can use their land for pearl cultivation Usually in the case of freshwater pearl it takes 12 to 18 months for the formation of a pearl. Pearls are produced in the sea naturally but they can also produce in many parts of our country using live pearl producing mussels which can be obtained from local water bodies like pond, river, reservoirs etc. It is called as freshwater pearl cultivation. They are collected manually and kept in buckets or container with water. The collected mussels are kept for pre-operative conditioning for 2 to 3 days by keeping them in crowded condition. Pre-operative conditioning helps in weakening of adductor muscles which helps in easy handling during surgery. The surgeries must be performed during winter. That's the main criteria. The temperature can be anywhere between 25 degree to 28 degree. One must avoid performing surgeries in warm climate. The key materials required during the surgical implantations are beads or nuclei, which are usually made from mollusk shell or other calcareous material. In this process round or designed beads are inserted into the mantel cavity region of muscle after opening the two walls of animal and separating carefully the mantel of anterior sides from the shell with the help of surgical set after the placing the beads in desired place the gaps created during implantation are closed just by pushing the mantel onto the shell
Implanted muscles are kept in post-operative care unit in an aquarium for 10 days with antibiotic treatment and supply of natural food. In these 10 days, muscle will fight to push the foreign body out of it. In that process, some muscles will die and some will succeed in their effort. Therefore, the muscles are examined daily with removal of dead muscles and the ones that reject the nucleus. But the muscles which still have the nucleus even after 10 days it will accept the foreign body and start coating nacre on it to protect himself. After post-operative care the implanted muscles are stocked in the ponds. The muscles are kept in plastic hole tray with plastic bottles tied to both ends and placed in pond at 1 meter depth. Periodical checking of muscles with removal of dead ones and cleaning of plastic containers is required throughout the culture period of 12 to 18 months. Muscles don't need any specific feed as such. They are filter feeders and hence live on algae and plankton in water. According to Professor Krishnamurti, plankton or food for the muscles can be prepared using cow dung and mixing with groundnut powder and water will lead to high amount of plankton and food for the muscles, which will later can be used for both fish and the muscles to survive. Oyster muscles are very sensitive to its surrounding environment. A little bad temperature and pollution will lead to death. So a freshwater pearl, there is one thing. You need to know what oyster you're looking at and or what muscle you're looking at. And you need to know how to maintain the muscle as keeping it clean, keeping the surroundings clean and the ecosystem to be very clean. And on that, you should know how delicate the muscles are so that the muscles don't die. And then you also need to look at the freshwater pond, the freshwater lake where you are, it should be in cool in temperature. The more of the heat, they're, like, they're just like humans. They get sunstroke and they die. In the same time, oysters are very strong in life. They can survive up to 100 years. The muscle after the culture period are opened carefully and the position of the pearl is felt by touching the area close to the incision skin by a pair of scissors, fine forceps and needle. The pearl formed is carefully removed without cutting or damaging the intestine or other internal tissues. Determining the pearl's value is an art and many people have mastered this art. Being an exceptional gem, there are some measuring standards to label the degree of pearl's paucity and value. This is a freshwater pearl and the way we uh, value this pearl is on seven characteristics. That is the shape, the size, the luster, the surface and the nacre quality and the seventh part is matching when we have a stand of pearls. So this is a near round, near round pearl so which is the second best quality in the shape, shape wise has a good enough luster but has a lot of blemishes and also it has a really good color of I would say cream and a good overtone of white. There are many benefits and advantages in adapting freshwater pearl culture into practice to the farmers as it involves low investment and maintenance and also financial help from government to the farmers. Karnataka Rajya Meenu Garike Ilake in the Ondo Muncha Ondo Scheme Itto. So, in this scheme, I have Muru Savra liter Rudiru in a Totiana Madi, Munur Capechipula Nida Nasakudre, the Nalot Saurpa Karchagute, otherly Shekara Yapata the percent under a Motu Saurpai, Sahai than a Siktaitu, in a writer Karchu Kevala to Saurpai. Though this business have lot of profit and return with low investment, at the same time it involves high amount of risk, struggle, and patience. The farmers have to wait till 12 to 18 months to ripe their fruit. As you heard that quote which says, the patience is bitter but fruit is sweet. Raitra Gulo, Bega, Aurge, investment Madabuku in the Sumar, Bega, Adayabarbeko. Adir Temati, Dela Sakat, patience, Iranta, Kelsagulo. 
ಒಂದು ಜೀವಿ ತರಬೇಕು ನಾವೇ ನೀರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಬೇಕು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಬೆಳೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವೇ ಸಾಕಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಆಹಾರ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೊದಲು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳೋರು ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಆ ಥರ ಆಗುತ್ತೇನಪ್ಪ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಮುತ್ತು ಆಗೋವಂಥದ್ದು ನೀವು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಯಾಕೋ ಮಾಡ್ತೀಯ ಟೈಮ್ ಯಾಕೆ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀಯ ಅದ್ರ ಬದಲು ಏನೋ ಓದೋ ಬರೆಯೋದೋ ಮಾಡೋ ವ್ಯವಸಾಯ ಬೇರೆ ಮಾಡೋ ಬೆಳೆ ಬೆಳೆಯೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋರು ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಛಲ ಇದ್ದಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾನೇನು ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಎಷ್ಟೇ ಇದಪ್ಪ ಲಾಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆದರೂ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಪ್ಪೆ ಚಿಪ್ಪುಗಳನ್ನ ತೊಗೊಂಬಂದು ಟೈಮು ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಕಪ್ಪೆಗೂ ಚಿಪ್ಪು ತಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕಿ ಮತ್ತು ಆಹಾರ ಎಲ್ಲ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡಿ ಮೊತ್ತು ಕೂಡ ಬೆಳೆದೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಲ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಲೈ ಮೈಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಪರ್ಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾ ತಹೀತಿ ಇಂಡೋನೇಷ್ಯಾ ಜಪಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈನಾ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಇಂಪೋರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋ ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ದ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಪನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈನೀಸ್ so chinese is main on fresh waters and the japanese is more on the salt water pearls where the mikimoto is from japan japan so they are really big in culturing and they produce something worth of millions of dollars in turnover every year so we are in the trade but we are nowhere in the production area very very we consider a very small amount though we have certain limitations in traditional farming which we depend on many external resources and enormous expenditure and minimal income with huge amount of risk through evolution of science we can adopt to such parallel occupations which not only generate profit but also help in making a mark on international market as an ornament lovers let's be self reliant in producing such ornaments and make people sustainable in their income by adopting to science and technology in our occupations